how many people come in here thinking they're going to catch largemouth bass? Where was that? It was right here. This is the hole. That's the hole right there. See if I can catch a couple more. Just for the heck of it. Or that sun goes completely down. Oh, golly. Ah. Yeah. Doing a lot of walking. That's good. Some paddling, some walking. Son of a... I didn't have it on. Guys, I just caught up several. And I forgot to turn the camera on. I'm back at the pool where I caught all those and this is the fifth one. It's either the fifth or sixth. I don't know. After coming back and they're just killing it. <laughs> they are just absolutely killing it. There we go. There. Strip set. Strip set that time. Ah, nicer. This is a good one. Yeah, come on. Stop it. I'll get this thing out of you in no time, dude. Thought I would. <laughs> sit right here and I'm gonna catch I don't know how many I don't know how many I've caught yet just out of here not including the, the previous pool there he goes Swirled at it. He's falling. Oh. <laughs> oh. Another mouth following it. When you're looking at them head on, even with their mouth closed, you can you can see their it's a white little white line that make like their lips. And uh, I can see that following the fly a lot of times. First time I was like, what in the world? This is nuts. This is absolutely freaking nuts.
I think I've caught 10 since I've come back to this pool. Wonder if any of them are ones I've caught before. These fish are crazy. Oh, oh, I, I, I strip set and he missed it. Oh, that was a, oh, there was a big one came by. He didn't, didn't want to hit it. There was a bigger, bigger, bigger one. Strip set that time. I slowly get the habit. It's going to take a while. Then I'll start doing it on trout. <laughs> exactly what will happen. <laughs> Just roll them over. It'll be all right. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It is literally like, like I'm at a peacock fish hatchery. Glad I stopped here. Yeah, you know, I stopped at one spot on down the road. Same kind of spot, exactly. And um, just a little bit. Didn't get nothing. And then uh, I, saw, I was about to just forget it. And I saw this spot. It looks the same. It looks the same. But, that, but luckily, I caught the first one. <laughs> okay. No, we're going to have to do the mouth. Dang it. Man, oh man, they're all a little bit differently colored, just a little bit. Beautiful fish. This is nuts. I want to see that big one. There was one, I swear, that fish would have gone 25 inches, maybe. A really nice one. It's a good bit bigger than the biggest one y'all have seen me catch so far. Including yesterday. I told my friends, I said, now for another pe peacock fest. Where's that big one? That's what I want. Okay. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> You almost there, bud. Good job. Good job. <laughs> if I wasn't doing this, I wouldn't believe it. There you go. You're in, buddy. <laughs> Not a lot of real small ones. You know, I mean, there's some, there's some, some bigger than others, of course, but there's nothing really small, small. Like, there's no eight inchers. Come on, I want the big one to hit it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. About there. You about there.
Now, if I haven't caught any of these twice, that's a lot of fish in this pocket. That explains why there's nothing in all for 100 yards that way. I don't know if I went actually 100 yards, but I went a ways. Nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one so far. For this pool, this is a really good one. There you go. <laughs> Gotta love these fish. <laughs> if the first one don't get it, the next one will. You load 16 tons. What do you get? Another day older, deeper in depth. St. Peter, don't you call me because I've been home. I owe my soul to the company store. <laughs> oh my goodness this is insane if I was going to bring someone fly fishing for the first time this would be a good place Oh, yes, yeah, fight good. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> ah. ah, what fun. <laughs> this is insanity. Some point I got to run out of fish. Sur surely there's still a big one in there I ain't hooked him yet I think that's about it try right up here a little ways I don't call it a day I'm slowly getting the strip set. It's good practice for it. <laughs> this is really good practice for it. He like nipped at the tail. Didn't take it. Didn't go in. Just impacted on the surface. What movie? <laughs> oh shoot! Nah, I had a trout set like a dweeb. Getting the feeling they're all out in the middle. They're all kind of out in the middle. They're not at the bank. I mean, even though I'm casting there. I have hit nothing against the bank. They're all off. They literally all seem to be in the main channel. Now I wonder if they do this behavior all year. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just because it's cold. 
you know, turn turn cold. They decide to group up for whatever reason. Whatever peacocky peacockian is that is that a word? <laughs> peacockian <laughs> reason. There you go. He's got it. There you go. There you go. There you go. None the worse for wear. <laughs> I, I gotta show this in its entirety. Just no brakes. <laughs> and just show this whole video this whole little peacock session in its entirety there we go I just never seen anything like this in my entire life <laughs> this is ridiculous a little bit better one. <laughs> there you go, buddy. It's really hard to get the fly from from one end to the other without it getting hit. <laughs> it's really hard. <sighs> I shouldn't have said that. Now they'll just totally quit. I think I've caught all of them. I honestly believe, or at least hooked them and played them for a second or two, and it, <laughs> except for that one. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Come on. Let me get this out of you, dude. There you go. I would have, I would have knocked you over in there, dude. <laughs> oh, this ain't right. There's something immoral about this. I'll pay for this. I probably won't catch another fish for the rest of my life. if there's some social outcast over here Yeah. Oh, whoa, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Golly. <laughs> There's a couple outcasts over here. More than one. Oh, he brought, oh man. They frayed through my line. And I didn't catch it, man. Oh, I should have been checking it. 
after every two or three fish it's frayed it's frayed and it broke man oh, oh well <laughs> shoot and I'm going to call it quits on that right there Now, this is why I pinched the barbs down, ladies, boys, and girls. That fish he took off up under there with my fly in his mouth. And since that barb's not there, all he's going to do, he's going to wiggle it around against something, wood, rock. He's going to get it against there, and it's going to pop right out, and he's going to spit it out, and he's going to be fine. That's one of the reasons I do that. And I'll mention this again in other videos. Guys... Thanks for joining me. Can you believe how small this is and had that many fish? And again, I caught like four or five before I remembered to turn the camera on. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I have no clue how many fish I caught. I really don't. I'll count them, but there's times I had the camera off unbelievable that's just unbelievable Whew. Ah, thank you like subscribe all that jazz and uh see you guys on the water sometime <laughs>